as though he was being a dominant force. You know, he felt a little bit timid in the way that he was approaching some of these rounds. And maybe there is going to be a bit more leverage and more liberties taken. Well, action's about to start. Frozen comes up with a big one. Going for more. Will not be able to connect. It's a whiff that leads Golzera to a longer life. Rops, meanwhile, still around on stairs. A man behind him. That's Rain on the hunt. But can he find anything? There's two people, three even, right around the corner. And Dexter will overwhelm. Twist the fall. Colzera to be the last one into this lower bracket. Hoping that they can avoid this this time around. Frozen. Backstab on Carrigan is solid. Oh, but okay. Time through the smoke. Brokey's found one. Frozen's still trying to keep things under oh. control, but Brokey in response. So it's into a three on three. And while there's damage done onto Brokey, those two kills are going to really segment both of these site players and Beamass. That's a crucial fight to win. Still, no. I don't think he was able to quite spot out Beamass. And as the bomb's being planted, the people come through and the deny is there. 12 seconds, but Twist gets another 10 seconds on the clock. He's got to go for the bomb plant. Now going for a safer attempt. And Dexter with an MP9. Twist very low. Twist! Oh, you could see it. Very important position playing around with Frozen. And as the flashbang will start to come through, Ross will peek out. Ross will get one, but not two. Rain overwhelms and Frozen with a smoke will at least delay the push phase. Trying to get in one on the backstab, but is... They have to be able to read into where Beamus is positioned. He's sandwiched right between both sides. And quite literally that, Beamus, one kill's not going to quite cut it. They can look to try and get this bomb planted. Acor looking to deny, in fact, pushing forward. And it's Dexter at a distance. 13 seconds, a one-on-one. -on -one, and Twist needs to close the gap. Get his hands on this bomb, start to get it planted. And Frozen knows it. And Frozen's just not peeking, he's playing this perfectly, now Twist goes for it, oh. but it's in the open, trying to get the kill, but it is unsuccessful, even falls after time, and... Problem is, the actual apartment is not. Dexter does get one, trying to back off, not much HP to work with, right now he's just acting the second for Frozen, Frozen falls up, Rain waiting for the push, knew it was coming. Cross over to benches, but Carrigan... Playing from the corner of the bomb site. Off angle, we'll find one. Oh. Turns around, but it's actually still rain to save the day. They're working off of minimal stuff. They don't have a kit as well, so going for some, some aggro plays will certainly go a long way. But Acorn's up high, and he had nobody to support. Twitch has doubled up. That's massive. The kill on the Rops just makes it so this AD from short. 50 seconds and phase have shown. No problem in slowing down, but Twist right now going oh. for more. We'll get three. All of them. Right, entries. Oh dear, and it's Dexter. A one on five. Not looking likely. Bomb's gone down. You can see. And Yusha starts to, to come into factor. Because I talked about how maybe Mouse Sports would have some understandings about how FaZe Clan would approach these rounds. And sometimes it can come down to just minimal bits of utility being expended. Uh, just uh, taking a pause to see if Dexter gets away with this one. He might do. Yeah. It would be quite important. Flashbang yeah. at least get, lets him get him back. But... Has been spotted out, they know where he is. Brokey holding the angle, Rain as well. Just wait for the opportunity, and Rain got mid air, Dexter. Four kills on the. But earlier, and I do think that was just a case of, you know, ooh, ooh nice shot from Frozen, okay. Props might actually be able to get one over here I as well, that. making things a bit interesting. As now, Aiko on and his Deagle are in the perfect position. Oh, call ah. from Palace though. Beamus with a headshot angle. Gives up his position though, and Rain's gonna track him down. Frozen, hands on that AK. The couple that they have, boost over the smoke? Yeah, seems so. They find one from it as well. Two on two, no kit, but they these players are low, so Brokey has to get aggressive. He peeks in with the AWP. Frozen now left to clutch, and I don't know if he's even gonna consider it. You know, they have a buy next round anyway, but there's, there's now been time where FaZe can reposition. Surely he backs off, but no, he's going for it. This is such a quick round to take away and Brokey. You know for sure, Bemis has cleared out Amy and Robs has got to be the player who shows up and steps up. Dexter, however, oh, no. had the first chance but pulls out a nade at the worst possible time. Carrigan down in sandwich, not brought down, but Bemis will be the one to fell him. Robs backs off, opting for a more defensible position. In the 4v3, there comes the flashback, that goes out. It gets rain completely. Bomb is dropped and Bemis will finally fall, but the bomb being so far away, Robs can go for the shot. Brokey reveals his position and Robs instead chooses to be defensive. He's waiting for FaZe to make a mistake and it seems like they might just be doing that. They have to get aggressive as well, they know it. And as oh! the B comes in, Rops will get three with that one. 
tagged in the smoke, but not quite brought down. Peeking in again, but that's another AWP on the other side. Out of the frying pan, into the Bemis. Twist will fall. Yeah, Kagan was hoping to distract, but now he's been finally dealt with. After losing two players, though, do FaZe still commit to this? They're, they've been slowed down, stagnated. Acorn's out in the open, so he's very vulnerable. The Molotov forcing players out, but still no face con members peeking forward, so they don't know what's up. Bemis, the Molotov finally fades away, so he can take back the position, and oh he my snaps Roki down! God, he's so good. He's so good, Rose has got another Bemis, now gets three! <laughs> in case someone's coming in through the jungle, in through mid, as the smoke will dissipate. Nade won't do too much damage. Oh, big kill from Rain though in the meanwhile. Yeah, looking to speed things up over towards that B-bomb side as well. There's some attention being drawn. You can see Frozen still a little bit concerned about which direction, but it's a feign. The bomb's making his way up connector and Twist has found an opening kill. That's B-mass, a problem player so far in these rounds, but Rock's gonna go unchecked. They don't know that he's up close with that AWP so long as it has it's been that BMAS has been alone over towards A, and this time oh. Brokey's going to flush him out. So a four on two, the two players left of Mouse Sports on the other side. See if they can get something going. Flash play in, Rain just ready on the lurk. Such a nice peek from uh, from Brokey as well. Rob switches as well, so distance actually supersedes which eye you're peeking from if there's enough of it. Brokey comes through, sees the shoulder, takes the man down. Oh. Acor, careful, careful, careful. You've not had a lot of impact with the op, but you still want to save it. You haven't had that many opportunities to get a duel early on, but anticipating it this time around. Oh, he might be getting aggressive now, though. Has had a couple of nice shots over there, particularly with the Deagle that we saw earlier on. Smoke is perfectly timed, and as he's waiting for them to push through, he's instead chosen to give up ladder room. Rocks has to be careful, but Dexter will be going down. Meanwhile, Frozen spotted out long range, can't get the spray, and as the contest comes oh. through from the side, guess who? What in the world is that? Frozen got done. Yes, he's looking for more while Beamer settles the score over in Palace. Cold Zara will take him down and Frozen will follow. 30 seconds and Robs will be the next casualty. The victims of war increase and Mouse Sports will have their names on a cross pocket. But this is now moving back into that territory where Faze are looking to win out the half pretty well here. I think we saw success with this peak last time around. Um, a double swing could happen? No, Ooh. instead, actually he drops towards Sandwich as well, so he is in a, for a world of hurt. He, they may not realize that he's so close as well. I mean, they must know, they must have seen him by now, or at least heard it, if nothing else. Acor turns around, that's a smoke gun flash coming in, will miss the shot initially, when it's from Palace where Cold comes again to overwhelm. Might be melted pretty soon. Long shot though, will not land and rain overwhelms Dexter force back. They've got to save. They have to save. Or will they? Oh, they might Lining them up! Oh, oh, he's got three! Dexter just managed to completely break open the round on his own and he's done this before, but maybe not quite as expected. 30 seconds on the clock. Brokey, 1v2. He can definitely cross things out, but with Dexter trying to fell him through a smoke, it's not really easy. Dexter oh. will get the four, and this is insanity. Michael Ops quite could say the same. Bemis, meanwhile, again, an angle that hasn't always been faithful, but this time it will be. Gets one, gets two! Frozen. Three. Still fighting away. Yeah. Inside the smoke. A mid position so heavily contested. Uh, I can't believe how successful Bemis has been in those you know, one and done angles, typically. Dexter trying to be tricky once more. Oh my god, the timing's working wonderfully for him. But he's so indecisive about where to walk. And the pillar, he's done so perfectly. Cold will be able Cold. to see him now. And Bemis, looking for the swing, goes for it, but Cold will take him down. And we're getting a lot more success. Straight into the pistol though, faster play in from Mouse Sports. A little bit more of the same for what we saw from FaZe and Rain holding it down with Brokey. Rops able to get a one trade, but still Rain in position. And he's doing so tricksy, look, jumping off the ladder as well. Finally, Rops tracks him down. Oh, that grenade from Carrigan could be massive, but who <laughs> doesn't even need it? This takes away Dex's life like that. Rops now left alone, 1v3. The game of chicken. And he's isolated out the duels perfectly. Rops could actually get this done. Chris, however, has a word, and that is no. Creeping and crawling over in, uh, you know, the belly of Palace. It seems like he's been very good there, but not this time over. No, no, no. Rops takes him down. And things are getting tricky. Oh, twist with the backstab. The timing is great, and he gets a two. 
Forest are frozen and drop guard moving in, and Twist has gotten another. So, so far, so good. Twist on for the ace. Rop's trying to, again, 1v3, same position, different weapon, and more uh, more firepower on that TT side as well. They're not going to be as timid, as tepid. Just want to give the fight right to him, and head spotted out. Twist finishes it. Ace on the anti forest spot. We were seeing from FaZe on their T side, just these slow yeah. <laughs> approaches, late round smoke onto short, and Broki's found a kill on the AWP. Lurking presence from Frozen. They wanted to converge on this B bomb site. Karakin's close to the smoke, so as the spade, he's right in front of him, kissing him with the bullets instead, and BMAS is there to trade things out. Broki alone on the site momentarily, and they can't make their way up of short yet. Acorn, massive kill though, 20 seconds, but he's turned around. Ooh. Cold Zero is still full. Broke, he's the one to get it though. Into the apartment, Frozen's already beat across. So he's gonna have to do a minor flick. Instead, Ooh. picks up the from behind and able to adjust, but Frozen bests him. Uh, it's still Carrigan who's isolated the duels, made it so Frozen's teammate couldn't come back through. And with the jail smoke being charged forward, that one's slightly risky. He doesn't have the one way, but Twist has only one way out of there. And this take down Rops, which is exactly what he does. Scarabin looking for a frag, comes out and takes out Dexter. Echo left all on his own, some one versus three. As he moves through, I mean, ah, oh, if he gets tempted into this, it's a sure fire tool. Twists, so much damage. And uh, pulling out nades, okay. Oh my god. They would have finished him off, actually. <laughs> yeah. He's off angles. Mm -hmm. So, it's, it seems more like a bid to maintain normalcy for the stars while he is still assisting in a different setup. Because, you know, obviously, putting Brokey into that spot in jail, sure, he might just get two or three kills because he's not expected, but would you really not rather just have him on the, you know, place where he can duck duck in and out, dive in and out? Meanwhile, though, while we talk about that, Mass Wards has lost all their players. And uh, another one, another one bites the dust. Hey, Cole, nice shot. Yeah, it, it, it definitely plays into the strength that I think Carrigan will have coming into this game about bombsite twist still in a very contestable position. Such a strong spot from Twist though. He's got himself one, makes it two. Now calls Zera is the only one left, and why wouldn't you want him alive? Even doesn't need to really pull the trigger. Will Hair Beam is running away from him. You can't really run or hide from the big band called Carrigan. Inching forward, AWP at the ready. And Bemis is being choked down before he even knows it. It's just a big time collapse on that A-bomb site. And no one even picked up that bomb. So Bemis is trying to hightail it out of there. And hello, <laughs> Broki. Knock, knock. Get out of my apartments. They've been relatively slow in the approach, but FaZe are instead the ones to change things up. Twist in their face, and the flash is perfect. First kill in, Acor can't adjust in time, and Frozen is alone up of short. They'll know that this is a possibility, but they've been gunned down from the very get-go here on Mouse Sports. It's the beginning of the end, and Frozen will indeed be a sign of things to come. Perhaps Dexter alone, one versus four. He saved out a couple of rounds, but this doesn't look like it. Not a single round on their T side. Sports over towards A. Nobody home to really contest here from phase. The smoke segmenting, and Dexter will find range through the gap. Meanwhile, Broke is able to do the same. He's taken another man down. So if you thought that smoke was intentional, I suppose there are those mistakes coming in. Carrigan gets a goosh to the head. With the smoke himself giving out the one way for Cold Zera, it's time to go for the retake. All three players coming from the same angle. Question is, can they take down Frozen? He's lying right underneath them, gets himself the first. Cold Zera pushing through, but Twist and Brokey are the ones to get the frag. Acorn Beamus left alone, trying to fight back. Acorn now in a 1v2 would really like to redeem himself for that previous map, but redemption will not arrive, and the round win for FaZe will be there, even if Mouse Sports do get the bomb plant. Long range against the Eagles can always be dicey, but he's able to clean it up nicely. Brokey, meanwhile, misses out the timing on two players, and that could be dangerous. He hasn't actually seen the second one at all. So information has not quite been relayed. And there are two players down under. Carrigan, meanwhile, does get rops down and out. And mouse bullets are falling apart one by one. Yeah, not really finding too much into this one. Carrigan already there to meet them over at B. And he is a not so gracious host. Yeah, come on, Frozen. Delaying the inevitable. It's a second round for FaZe, and it's back into the low bomb set. Just get as much info as they possibly can, because everyone from Mouse is waiting underneath. Rops will fall, and that's a big kill to find. 
but that should be when they pull the trigger for this lower bomb site. It's all about drawing attention away from Twist as well. Brokey is going to try and be the first one to face, and long range duel. Brokey wins it on Acor. They knew Twist was there as well, so they flushed him out, and Brokey gets nothing further for his troubles. Doing his best Superman impression. But one is ticking away. Flashbang down below. Cold Zero is backing up. Rain has to go for it. Gets the first, but can't get more. And that has to be a read coming through. Another position where Brokey, I mean, if he spotted, he gets the shot, sure. So uh, if even if he had gone down, Carrigan was in a position as well where it would be hard to expect him. So they would keep control of Ram. He's got his hands on a rifle himself as well. Reigns wants a, a duel hit as well. And so suddenly this becomes a full buy Ooh. potentially Ooh. here for FaZe. This is very tricky. Demons and Dexter just waiting away. Dexter has to be so careful. To and they don't, but Dexter's got the first one. Brokey looking to peek oh. out. Dexter with a 2k though. We'll drag them back in and back home, Brokey. Now it's back to the same mission he started the round with, save the op. But goddamn, Mousebirds. Goddamn, you can't. Looking to get himself a multi-kill, it's needed. Flashbang from himself, goes out, blinds himself, but Rain is still alive. Cold Zero goes down, Rain to follow through. Carrigan dropping down onto the bomb site, waiting for them to start pushing into this. And there's a flank coming in, but Brokey is now alone as Carrigan swings out. Hello, oh, but Brokey says hello. Pops out, beats it, betting oh. a shot, but rops on the off. We'll still get it done. Yeah, guys, we, ha we have the any keto org pledge, guys. Come on, stop doing this to the poor guy. But Demus, well, Ooh. he will be smacked on the back of his head by Twist this time over. Brokey, waiting for any angle to control himself. Rain now down below. Can't quite get the frags. Acor and Frozen instead just come through and double up. And Brokey accelerating the schedule in some of these rounds as well. And FaZe have been caught out by him. Look, the A side hits obviously either Rain or Cold isn't doing too well. And when you look at the scoreboard, as it'll be on your screen in just uh, in just a minute, I pull out of the corner. Acor is the only one with the Molotov, and with an AWP, he doesn't want to upscore that. Rops adjusts his aim, but Carrigan is the one who finds a frag. Rops has been lurking over towards that ramp area so many times over. This time he's red. And he's just brought down. Cold of the far vents, not gonna go cleared. Molotov in Acor's hands, but so concerned about more conventional oh. angles. Rain pulls it, and then Cold finds Dexter on a backstab, expecting something from the flank, maybe dodging flashes as well. Frozen now left the clutch, and he won't get it. It's a third round here from FaZe. It was a good- If he can get there, maybe even look to climb up into the heavens. Frozen is considering it for sure, and with the op ringing out, he knows there's no one there. It's now 5v3 and he's in the perfect position to finish it all down. He sees Twist this time. It's a labored spray, but he gets it anyway. Brokey right underneath. Can't scope or he'll reveal the position. Now peeks oh, out, but it's an Acor to kill what? his own teammate. His Indian leader will fall, but Karak can't save the day despite internal conflicts. A lot about finding these weird little timings. Taking out opponents. Rops will take all Rops. How do you always know? He's just so smart. They had limited util coming into this one, and they've expended quite a bit. Just trying to keep grips on this A bomb. Like hold once again, aggro Ooh. lobby, but this time A core prepared. They just can't get anything going. Yeah. Bad at taking outside and scaling into B either. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they're being Ooh. tested all too much. Oh, I love oh. the double swing as well there. For can find. They can't be feeling too good about it. Carrigan, he's in the corner, smoke, and he's caught with it in his hand. Rops is going for more. On the entry, he's got two goals and get one short, but it's Consolation City in the one where you don't really get money winners. At least Twist makes it look doable. And Rain's got to find this, sees the shadow, gets it done. Suddenly, back to a 2v2, even Steven, but can they still squeak it out? Mass Sports has so much map control. Phase, both their players are clustered inside. Rain still not able to recover the weapon and Dexter. I don't even I don't even need to talk about Dexter. He's over in heaven. They're ready though. See Twist is angled for it. VR, but they need to find the kills. Twist has got the timing perfect, but it's back to one on Frozen. Wait, he knows! Oh. Frozen knows! It's 12 to 3! Mouseport to dominate, and we've got to go to a break to see what they can do in this level from them that we saw in the first map. I mean, 
Even our betting partners over at 1xbet think that the odds have shifted back to being even steam for the series. Whoops. Meanwhile. Oh, oh my god, Rubs, what was that? He's even looking for more not needed as Acor will finish off Gold Zero. What in the world? God, he's feeling it. Rain, now will find those not checking his side and Acor and Dexter. Shut it down, Mouse Sports. Go hold it from Beast and let's not forget about that. Cold, inching through. Rubs is not he does it, but the miss oh! shot that Rubs. He is immortal. He is unkillable. He is flicking the heads, and Cole hasn't had a great game so far, and that one just displayed it. Can't feel good about that. 38 seconds. I'm sure we'll see a replay of his face after that as well. I hope we do at least. But yeah. There's as much pain as I just expressed. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Gargan gets nothing. Bump planted over at B though, so... Some extra money goes a long way, but they were hoping for more. Had the chances at it, Brokey. Closing that oh. gap, finishes off the job. Not gonna fall into the same trap. Two on three, and Rain looking to get aggressive. He's in a perfect position to take down Acor. Brokey as well, now defensible. There goes a smoke if I'm not wrong. Maybe even just a decoy, never mind. Bomb defuse, faked out, Rain takes out Dexter, and Bemis will find Brokey in the meanwhile, but no kit means there's no way to win this. Rain spots out the fact that he's backing off, and despite a uh, monstrous whiff from Cold Terra, Mouse puts fall prey to an old ailment. Like us. Uh, I know. Western is, can face clan uh, be the aim god freaks we know that they have been to bring it back? Because look, Carrigan falls over here. If there's one thing I wouldn't really say Carrigan is legendary in, I'll hold that thought because Frozen had to hit that shot. If he took another man down, suddenly it becomes a lot easier for Dexter. Dexter still at a great angle, catches Cold Midair, shuts him down into four versus three. Acor, USB not as useful, but it is Rops behind Decon. Rain will fall, bomb is dropped, and suddenly things are flipping on their head. Mouse Sports seems to be the one. We should be able to take away this force spy. And it's oh, from that one rifle as well. Yeah, this is not a good look here for FaZe. No smokes as well. So the fact that these doors are wide open. Not to mention that flank is a vulnerability as well. I also have these opportunities. It's all about the timings. Frozen just playing passive. They're going to be allowed to get their hands on this bomb, but they'll have the numbers advantage afterwards. 38 seconds. Frozen coming in from behind, not to mention. Going for it, but he misses another shot. Quiz is left alone. 1v3 gets two. Looked like it was doable. Rops was so damn low. Does it enough? Now, spot still. With a man advantage, slowing things down, playing a bit more passively. Acor spots out the shoulder peak and shuts him down immediately. That's one thing which he's been really good about, and even goes for two with that bomb being dropped in face Lance's opportunities. To win this round, seem to be non existent when Quiz misses that flick. Yeah. You can see how contained they are in towards these bomb sites. The, the objective has to be for FaZe to crack on in, and they have limited time and resources. Twist trying to lead the charge. Galil in hand is going to get caught on the side swipe. Rain there to trade. And he's only going to get the one. A 15th round here for Mal's. He kills, and that just tells you the story. 20 rounds and 30 kills. Goal at least will be able to add one more. And Acor. That's a nice little micro adjustment. Backs off immediately as well. Rops will be forced back with the Molotov. So bomb landed safely, but the retake is on. Carrigan is gone. A three on four. Ding it, but will he be able to even get the frag as he beats out? Rain sees Bemis. Bemis is wasting time. Chris is alone oh. and with the flashbang, Bemis has got it done. Mouse Sports does it in style. Takes away the second map, Phase Clan only five. They're ready to counter you, you throw that smoke as well. Make it more difficult for them to get sight lines in. They're ready in here, so many numbers. Dexter and Frozen are doubling up for a couple of kills. Acor trying to lock things down. It's cold now to try and clutch things back, but not going to be able to pull it through. It's a nice, clean state of affairs there from Mouse. And it's going to be uh, difficult to see if they, they have a read on how Carrigan will even approach this one. Frozen over at long, taking the fight, and Twist has been taken down. These pistols not getting anything going. Acor, really solid stuff as well. The counter utility in from Mal's, really solid. Gone slightly deeper, bounced off the wall, and prevented sight lines towards Banana. 
Igor looking to investigate. Orp at the ready. That made by Carrigan, so Acor is going to swing, and he's cut off on the retreat. Didn't realize that there were three phase players primed and ready. They still have so much information here. Miles are showing so much control. They do not want to give up this bathroom's position, but they still don't have a firm idea of which way they're going. You know, there's a lurker out towards Monster. There's three players hovering outside of A themselves. Oh, they made a sterner stuff here. Rops on the flank as well. That that wrap towards B hasn't seen too much. 12 seconds left. Rain finding the entry and Bemis seeing if he can deny, but he might not get there in time. Rops as well on the flank won't get there and he's brought it to a, just three. Over here, Rops trying to fight back, but it's so difficult. In the meanwhile, it just seems like chances are dwindling down. Michael, face slam. Should have been able to find themselves that round. Rob's getting some damage in the fadeaway, but not quite enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm unfortunately, uh, yeah. Yeah. Kind of that's, that's all, that's all saying. In some ways, it is the perfect counter, isn't it? Flashbang comes out for Bemis. Bemis, however, peeking forward. It should be a frag coming out for Brokey. And as they start to peek through, it is two to four and more to follow. Face clamp nicely with the entry, but Dexter. Response is there, even if it isn't uh, saying too much. We, we have thus far in the series where both the first and the second map before they peek on through. And so now there is this flanking opportunity once again presented to Mouse Sports. Acor though, oh my Ooh. goodness, peeking into four of them? That is scary, but he pulls and plucks one out, gets himself away. Oh, realizes that he's been cut off, but Carrigan's gone too. Oh, almost lining up a third, but Grain finally gets a handle on it. This A bomb site could be taken, but they're still slow to clear it. Frozen on the flank as well, this bomb getting ready to get planted but they're still concerned about long and as twist turns around they brought it back to a two on two and this is something where mouse sports had this exact same issue earlier on versus navi as well is that sometimes you slip away in these heavy advantage positions because you're working off of angles and meanwhile rops will fall on long as well so you're in a one on two to fight for your life bemis is the one left alone he's got to get everything and more doesn't have a kit needs to pick that up from somewhere and as he peeks forward, will find one, but at the cost of almost his life, and will be his life as soon as Twist can pull. He's also the only one who really can get aggressive. Twist, however, will be revealing himself with those footsteps, oh. but he still gets the kill. Massive whiff from Frozen. They're moving into what mouse points have little left. Oh, what a shot. He's so good on those. He's never sure to be him. Bemis, however, is oh. the one. Who has his kill stolen away? Acor peeks into Monster as well, gets I'm himself so another, and without time, Twist can only just go for damage. He's been uh, good at recovering a frag earlier on. I don't think he can recover this round. Acor peeking? He's peeking after time as well? And we saw that, that missed opportunity from Frozen. And now he's looking on the test. Oh! Frozen there, pick it up though, even if Rops has dropped it, but Grain and Carrigan with the combined two will big find indeed. He sees oh. the back but doesn't have the timing. Twist will be leading forward, but it's Dexter to take the duel versus Cold, who's backed off instead. Twist spotted out, brought down. Dexter finds Cold with a push through and a flashback from Beamer should be setting up to delay the T side. Carrigan and Brokey have got to go through though. With a smoke down, they're using a gap in it or at least trying to. Still, nothing found, and the bomb needs to be planted. Carrigan next to the pillar, going for it soon, he but he just can't plan. find the zone. And inside he goes, and so does Dexter. Straight to the back of Carrigan. It's three with the MP9. Uh, well, it definitely isn't a good buy. <laughs> Twist. All right. He was prepped for the boost. Yeah. <laughs> Acor, uh, Acor likes this map, put it that way. Uh, you, you can really tell if he's so much more comfortable in this than he does on you know, something like Mirage. Baseland. Still very committed to what he's going to do. Hey, Bombsite A Koi is very committed to the idea of connecting shots. He's doing it. You know what? I like this. Lots of commitment all around. Game so far. They will be forced back and meanwhile. Into rain they go and he's ready to mow them down. A four versus three now. Mouse sports are going to try and Maybe just stack on the same bomb sign and until he's move right past all of them. He's right oh my God. behind them. This they might have could to spot be him. But no rain! Shuts down any sign, any thought, any possibility. And with 30 seconds left, mouse sports. They don't have the best of money. I wouldn't mind a save, but 
You also know they want to keep going for this. Rops will not be rotating over even when the indication has been shown of the A-bomb side. Beamers is here with one. Maintains position. Looking for more. Sees Triss but can't get it done. FaZe will take the round, but is this particular round tying it up once again. Terrorists win. Creeping play here for FaZe. Molotov at the barrels, getting rid of some of the more troublesome angles. Beamus at the pillar, though, gets nothing. We've seen a few of these creeping plays from FaZe. Uh, normally, Mass Force is able to catch one or two people and just with some sort of aggression or you know, see one or two people and then wave on them. Nice shot from Dexter, but it seems to only delay the inevitable, but it seems like he might be given an opportunity over here. Molotov now leans in, but it's been missed, and he needs to start peeking forward. Carrigan needs to be careful as well. No one there to refrag, and as Dexter's shoulder peeking time and time again, now with Cole moving in, it's going to be twist to, to seal the deal. Looking for that. I mean, monster smoked, I guess. Oh, God, that is so awkward. That could have gone the other way. Carrigan getting another kill. There's a double here for FaZe over at B. As again, there was an aggressive play thrown at the, the FaZe default. Not frozen, but he may try and take the initiative. He's alone over towards that A bomb site. There are a man down, and you can see that phase have slowed it even further because they've they've been seeing this this reaction here from mouse so often when they've been at disadvantages i want to seal this nice and cleanly again just not able to find the aggression or rather this time not able to find the target twist shuts him down they're not exposing themselves they're Clearing out the close angles, but FaZe is just all too far away. Brokey, good will one, and we're gonna have to go to a break to see how quite aggressive outside of course, Molly too. One of his most famous maps indeed they do, but that smoke is gonna be really well placed. Twist trying to play around it. They do have a second player there. Brokey, good for one, but Dexter trades and twist. So Chris on these shots, and it's rain and cold there to chime in as well. The smoke side it all, but twist. Small drop to be big. Oh well, time twist is just when he's forcing them forward, all funneling through. But Frozen's got one oh, Dexter, makes it yeah. two rooks with another one. Where is this coming from? A little bit of fire behind them, and Brokey's now in position. But he's only good for one kill. Oh dear, this has spiraled out of control. The the Molotov was well touched. Rude to hesitate to go back, but uh, it's all forward. From our sports, Frozen of course redeeming himself a little bit as well with that first kill. Very <laughs> well, 30 seconds and weird could devolve to worse. Twist, however, caught out, and that's the hopes of Face Clan gone. And just calls there are left alive. He's not had a he's not had the best of series after Mirage and over here, eight and twelve. Hasn't needed to step up as much, but now would be a good time if he can get some damage, get some kills. And I have to download the demo afterwards. <laughs> and just look. Well, I need to know. Have you ever had your fortune told? Tom Red. No, I don't think I have intentions in, in doing so. Well, I was gonna drag that one off a little bit. It's a game of cat and mouse, but right now the cat might just be Rain and Cole is also with the ball at the same time, but Rob will finally get it done. Rain at least equalizes, but patience pays off. And over to the beam side they go. Twist is completely blind. He's burning. He's dying. Carrigan has to lead by example now, but does he have an example to give an orb right in front oh. of him? Acor plucks him out of the water. And sure, Brokey, have a consolation, have a pat on the back, but that's all it is to find a frag on Dexter. A retake, that looks impossible, but at least he'll attempt it. Boost up, but oh, Acor! Oh! He's ready to do it! He knows it all. Face clan. I mean, they are getting aggressive. This could be a big kill. Rain big. is being distracted oh. for, so he will get himself a second. Now, Sports, your old nemesis is here, but Acor is ready to at least put up a stand. Rops once again. This is the setup for the pistol round as well from FaZe. 10 seconds. Oh, bombs being planted safe. This is the perfect place to go for it. Carrigan, as he's speaking out, will be seen by Rob, but oh, they can't no. get it done. It's oh. three frags in succession. 
so well placed. Dexter's down to 46 as well. And they've got all the players they need on this beam. On the side, Twist sees a player, but he's got to be careful. Mana just in time. Beam is good for one. Six to double up. Twist is defending, but not for long. Through the smoke comes drops with an AK bullet to his head. And Brain has time to swing out back to Graffiti as a Molotov will be at his feet. Wait for the player in water. Sees him, dinks him, but can't. Not even a dink, rather. That's just a body shot. Dexter will be low, but can't get the kill. Toxic barrel position. It's a very strong angle to play, but you have to be hyper aware of someone. They have to go forward. There's no options. They could be anywhere here on phase. They're creeping past and Carrigan. Oh, he's just Marilyn. He slots the head, but Frozen gets the best of him. Twist now trying to fight back. It's him to be traded. Cold still alive at the back of the side in eight seconds. The oh time is their enemy. The bomb not in their possession. And Rops, as he's moving past, has to face the face of defeat three players in long 25 seconds here come the flashes here comes a push Carrigan completely blind and he's brought down Brokey inside the bathrooms now needs to go for a flank but right behind him lies Rob's in wait Mr. Statue oh. is the man again but Brokey to interrupt the bomb plant now inside the toilets Mr. Statue can't move Rob's will not be able to oh, prevent dear. him for two and Acor will be the one to safeguard the bomb as it is planted. Rops still coming in from behind, but it's Twist and Cold. We'll bring it back to a 2v2, but this could be a poison chalice. Not much money going for this, as difficult as it is, and the first kill is there. Acor and Rops ready to close. Acor off for short, and it lines God. up for Rops for two. Well, unfortunately, this time the guy goes for the city uh, governance to protect him. Now sports set for 13. Seems like he may can't be a second there. Got a bit dicey. Two players going down quite low. Seven on the clock. And they are making contact. Molotov's in, trying to flush Cold Zero out of position. He's still holding firm at the pillar, but Dexter spams him down. So an entry here for Mouse. Twist is still in water. He needs to find them. Dexter will go down, but it's still so many of Mouthful players just cascading out and over they go. Twist good for two, looking for the third. The smoke's dissipating and Frozen will not be able to find much. It's rain over in heaven. Oh. Twist still alive. A one on one. Three kills so far. And now he's just waiting for the bomb to be flung. Has to clear out all these angles. Is there a kit nearby? Doesn't look like it. So he's the one with all the pressure on his back. Frozen just oh. in the right place at the right time. Mouse sports are at 14. Do not want to make a mistake, not in a round like this. Range position, forcing it though, but he swings a bit too wide and Frozen will shut him down. Now, Cold and Brokey. Brokey with the first Cold oh, and Twist no. coming through with more. Oh. It's gonna be it. Rops is too far away. It's a one on two without the time. How does this happen every single time? And now they don't have money. Cause Rob's to suffer once before. He knows. He's gonna go for the same. Repeats, but Carrigan fully blind. Shuts down Dexter Cole with another one. Suddenly Phaser picking up Steam. Steam is still leading forward, but it's Chris to intercept. Not a single player lost on the CT side, and they've come through with a vengeance. The four spy to assist. And mouse sport, what should have been 15, what should have been match point, will instead be an equalizer. Face then I'm right back in it. And keep missing his shots, but that's what really stopped them before. Rain, big ball, there is no flashbang, there is nothing, there is no hope. And I mean, hell for mouse sports, there isn't really much. And oh, they can work off. Pops drops will find one, takes the op, runs away immediately. The phase have gotten to 15, and that is a big problem. <gasps> Tag on the op shot, but Rain's there for the double, and Brokey, really low HP. They haven't tracked him down. He's still close to these bathrooms as well, containing the progress here for Mouse. Smoke on down as well. Carrigan's alongside him. Oh! Oh, he's gotten another. And now it's back to a 3v3, Mouse Sports on the verge of elimination. They fight for overtime on a map no one thought would come. Carrigan on the a box side, alone looking to defend now. Located and Rob will find him. Takes him down, but Twist is here to recover. The star of the show so far will now fall to Dexter Cold Zara. 
think they could be so up close, but they're, they've taken a passive approach instead. <gasps> Smoke can be recovered. I can go up, get on this bomb. Cold drop as well. It's perfectly placed. A flashbang could be going through. Cold's going for it. Dexter's burning inside. It goes. He's trying to stick Surely it. Surely not. Seconds and with oh. the knife, it's Dexter to take it over time. And we've got to go to a break, but we'll be back with more. The stage where Smoke's being lined up in 30 seconds. This is where Mousewood likes to commit. Rops is leading the charge. Twist on the other side. Cold will put forward with the USB. And Carrick has claimed that Mouse is nothing they can do about it. They are falling flat on their faces. And Aiko in a one on four. As heroic as he has been, this is just not his round. That's the read that they're going A. It's been B so often, but with Twist's position being where it is, he's ready for the flank. Brokey good for the first. Starts off nicely, rain smokes off long immediately. The grenade could be massive. Just need to chuck it right forward. Right now would be the best time possible. Rain, flashbang turns around. They're trying to free fire him. It just isn't working. Rops once again alone against five. There isn't the time, there aren't the numbers, and there isn't the hope. Mass sports cannot get it done. And FaZe Clan are setting up. And trying to wait for some of these activations on Acor's AWP as well. He has really slowed down, but he's had such a great game in getting here so far. Smokey, he sees the shadow. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought for a second, I thought he saw the shadow. No, frozen. Might be located sooner or later. Frozen is tagged up, but no broke down. He's got the time to come around for another one. The block is what ends up getting them. Rain will be the next four. Mouse sports aren't out of it yet, Michael. This is here fast though. Tag player on Frozen. It's an easier fight, but only good for one. And Carrigan's on the wrong bomb site for it. It's a difference maker over there, but Carrigan, like you said, and there's only forward to go in this 1v3. Taking away at his feet, and Bemis at his back will shut him. Molotov's flying through, being exchanged. Flashbangs and smoke primed up. 30 seconds and phase is walking in. Dexter lies in wait inside. Water peaks out for one. Lines oh. them up but can't finish them off. They're both very low and Dexter oh. will end up falling after he gets another. Somehow it is not an advantage grenade. for Mouse but the grenade will find twist and shut him down. Garrigan and Colterra without the bomb will retrieve it, will plant it inside the smoke they go. But Frozen is the one getting aggressive from oh. short, the spray transfer to save the day. Three kills for him on that retake. What a round for Frozen. The route that he thought FaZe would take differed from what it was expected. The nade, oh, oh the door blown open so Acor finds the first, oh. the second is good. That's massive from Acor again. The aggression working up, but then Beamus now from Toxic lies in wait. Chris has found so much success before. He needs to do the same. He can't. The smoke works against him, but Dexter up high gets himself one spray on the second. Can't quite finish, but Cole being as low as he is means that they had an AK to fall back onto. Oh, frozen. He's found one being more and more of an issue because they're a constricted connector firmly in mouse sports control and they've spotted out some presence over towards long that bomb dropped so phase need to recover that one quickly and mouse have swarmed around it the clock not quite as far down as we've seen it go but the smoke is really what's preventing them from moving forward beam is still with another molotov as well to work with there's so much utility of flashbang gone awry though and dexter can't quite capitalize molotov now comes in echoes found one in the meanwhile mouse sports just two players left, all that's stopping them from moving forward. Dexter wants to take the peak, and as the swing comes in, Twist is good for one, they can't oh. get more. It's Mouseboard to take it away, and it